right, we're good. Marianne Burroughs is the DTM3 who's presenting her speech from the Humorous Pathways. The purpose of the speech is to know your sense of humor and share it with the audience. The topic is, is of cho her choosing. Her speech should include at least one anecdote or story intended to entertain or bring humor to your presentation. Five to seven minutes, her title, Ho, 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 Mary. <laughs> Welcome, Marianne. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas that wonderful time of the year of good cheer and happiness. But not everybody likes Christmas. Ebenezer Scrooge says, bah humbug. But my mother-in-law used to love everything about Christmas. And we know that the beautiful picture or painting by Norman Rockwell, everybody sitting around the table, decorated Martha Stewart style and all those smiling faces and that delectable looking turkey in the middle of the table. Now, how many of you have ever made a turkey? And how many of them look like the ones in the commercial? Probably not. <laughs> and there's a very good reason. You see, they paint that turkey, then they shellac it, they pre-slice the slice so that whenever they looks like they're slicing it the first time, all that moisture comes oozing out that makes your mouth water. It's all fake and phony. So okay. if it doesn't look like the one on the TV, don't worry. Just enjoy that turkey. <laughs> now there's so much in preparation for Christmas. There's cooking and cleaning and baking and, and shopping and wrapping. And certainly, Christmas shopping is big on the list for many people. And I've noticed there's a variety of different personality of shoppers. And I'm going to share five of them with you. Number one <laughs> is the Black Friday shopper. Now, this individual is at the mall before Thanksgiving dinner is even fully digested. Wait in line to get the best price on that special item for under the Christmas tree. Now, obviously, Black Friday's changed a lot. Now we have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday, and you can actually do your Christmas shopping right from the comfort of your own house, and you can push that button, and it's delivered right to your house. Number two is the mono shopper. This individual buys the same gift for everybody on their list. Maybe <laughs> a gift card, maybe a calendar. Now, the good thing about this type of a shopper is that nobody feels jealous because everybody got the same thing. Now, number three is the, the Christmas crafter. This individual makes or bakes some delectable, delicious item or some cute little trinket that share, they share with their family. Which brings us to number four. Now, number four is the one day shopper. This individual shops one day for Christmas. And guess what? It's the day before Christmas. Oh. And if it's not on the shelf, you're not going to get it. And that brings us to number five. This individual is going to be shopping the day after Christmas. Before they've digested Christmas dinner, they're at the mall gathering up all those great sales after Christmas. So they're halfway ready for Christmas already the day after. <laughs> Once all packages are purchased, it's time to wrap them. Now, there are wrappers and there are non-wrappers. And I'm not talking about music here. But thank goodness they invented those wonderful gift bags that all you have to do is open them up, put a little tissue paper in your gift, and you're all set and ready to go. And they collapse and don't take up much room for the rest of the year. <clears throat> then for some, it's off to the post office to wait in that long line to deliver to um, put something in the in the mail for faraway guests. Now, don't they know we're coming? Why don't they hire more people around the holidays? Really? Now, Johnny Carson suggests that we mail our Christmas items early so that the post office can lose them 
before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and have you ever gotten a gift that was, you didn't even know what it was, or it was so ugly that you knew you would never, ever use it? Well, there's always regifting. It's a wonderful experience, but you have to make sure you don't regift it to the same person that gave it to you. Now they say that Christmas is for children. And certainly it's a delight to see the faces of darling little children opening their presents on Christmas morning. But those same darling little children, by the time they're six or seven, don't believe in Santa Claus any longer, but they still demand those gifts on, on Christmas morning under the tree. And then by the time they're teenagers, oh, the whole family gift to giving thing is just not a whole lot of fun. So I like the words of Clark from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, who said to his teenagers, where do you think you're going? Nobody's leaving. Nobody's walking out on this fun, old fashioned family Christmas. Oh no, we're gonna all stick together. We're gonna have a full blown, full alarm holiday emergency here. And we're gonna press on and we're gonna have the happy, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby danced with Danny Kay. So that's how you handle <laughs> that. But in all the frills and preparation for Christmas, we sometimes forget the real purpose of Christmas joining with friends and family and remembering the birth of Jesus. I like the words from the Grinch who stole Christmas, who says, it doesn't come in packages. It, it doesn't come with ribbons. It doesn't come with bows. It doesn't come in packages, boxes, or bows. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas means a little bit more. Fellow Toastmasters, welcome guest. However you choose to celebrate Christmas, I wish you joy to the world. God bless you, everyone. Have yourself a merry little Christmas and ho, ho, ho. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Horrible.